point. We are at I... Flex versus Mr. Mutton. I feel like, uh... Oh, we see our, our the return of the main character. I feel like... I feel like, uh... Uh, Zetter... They could do a bit better against Palm. Just, uh... The fact that he mm -hmm. can soul so reliably against a character oh, yeah. that can be really evasive is... He's gonna put... Uh, I definitely feel like Zetter, Zetter does Upstrong. better against Palm than, than Orkane does, just just on definitely. an instinct. And once like, again, once again like, Flex, charge... Flex loves those offstage uh, Yeah, charge shines. Shines. I mean, they're, they're a good idea. But you really don't see a lot of Zetter Burns use them, honestly. No, we'll honestly, just see them like go yeah. for a dare, or maybe like a bear, or just hang out on stage. But I mean, like, when you consider it, like, shine spikes too, and like, it's not as strong as a spike as dare, but like, if they're near the wall, they're probably gonna be able to attack anyways. Mm -hmm. Maybe, oh, maybe you hope they attack them. But like, it's so big, you get the guarantee percent. They're on fire, which means if they try to recover fast, um, you might be able to get combust on them. Yeah. So, like, definitely a really solid option. Overall, just a good idea. And like, even if you don't get the spike, you could just send them out and down. Down strong. And that's yeah. an awful way to get sent. Yeah. Lots of damage from these notes here. Maybe not so bad for Palm, who has float, but like. Mm hmm. Still, you just, you just don't want to be in the bottom corner in general. It's not yeah. a nice place to be. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. You have to use a lot of resources getting back. And yeah. Now that is the, the part where, like, when Palm's way out there in the harmonic field and stuff, like, Zetter can't do that much to contest it, like we just saw. Yeah. And now we're in the reverse situation here. Yeah, again, just, like, covering all these options with these different projectiles and fair. And yeah, there's not too much so reason much for Palm to, to go off, because Palm, like, Palm doesn't actually have any strong spike. Like, her only spike is not strong, so, like... Mm -hmm. I mean, technically with Julesville platform, you could get a, a Palm Spike kill that. <laughs> I don't that, think I've seen, like, I've actually seen any clips of someone killing with Palm down strong with, like, Spike. I don't think I, I've seen that. I feel like I've, I've, I've done it before, but, like... Like, I know it's there, but I haven't seen anyone actually go for I think, it. I think it's a clear option small. is you should go for Taunt at ledge for, uh, for mm -hmm. the mic drop. That was so scary. Flex tried to cheese so hard right there. Almost nick uh, nicked uh, Button with the dare. Oh, I think Zetter up and get this stuff out. Like, oh wow! Oh, there's the dare. Ran right off with the fair Flex, dare. He has been getting works every time. Today. Yeah. Mhm. Mm definitely feels like like Flex's strong point is just these these edge guard conversions. No, like, absolutely. Whether it be pushing off with with shine or just getting these fair dares, getting a lot yeah. of uh, mileage out of these edge guards. Very nice to see. Immediate vents. Uh, so contest top, uh, contest mid plat there. Another frozen fortress pick. Um, this time actually just picked by by Violet, which is yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I think this is a solid stage for Palm. Mhm. Mm it's all stage for Palm. I feel like it's also a good setter stage though. His his extensions on these platforms can be scary. <laughs> if he yeah. upstorms you on that top platform, you are gone. <laughs> Especially Palm. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's Megagon. Just getting out way up in that top corner where Zetterburn can't really get at you. Flex just barely avoids all of those different uh, hitboxes to make it back on yeah. stage, but ends up dying Not pretty the soon after. Coming out. Oh, nice. Man. Classic uh, Zetterburn, up strong to classic, firm. The, the funny up strong go burn. Evening it right back up. And having a pretty advantageous position here. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, there's there's the shine again. Every time. Wow, that probably would have killed, honestly. Yeah. Actually, it definitely would have killed. Going for the galling there, too. Mm-hmm. I definitely feel like this is where Palm starts to get scared, but uh, that's a pretty nice combo to, to get back your advantage. Yeah. I like that dare. No, definitely. It's a nice little can, poke. Yeah, I can I can cover a lot of like just riding the wall options and mm -hmm. set up for some good combos uh, off of it. Fortunately, the dare reverse, but it didn't end up mattering too much. Oh, just all better up air. What a move! I love how they buffed that move. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they kind of nerfed it, and they kind of buffed it, so... Who's to say? I don't actually remember what they did. 
they they made it so it, it has less base knockback, but more knockback scaling, and then they added extra hitboxes for some reason. Because he's Dan's favorite. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it is Dan's persona. That's why he gets ult damage. He is named after Dan's old gamer tag, so... Is that her skin? No, it's no. I'm sorry, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. Okay. Well, that's the game. Palm up air. What can you do? Can I also say, I, I really like, I, I really like but it's palm skin. Yeah, it's nice. Back to force floor. Like yeah, I mean, I, uh, obviously, you know, it's a starter stage, so it's not going to be too big of a swing either way, but Zedder definitely does like this stage because of the early kills you can get. Like, that's the thing for Zedder, is, like, it's not even just, um, like, the upstrong kills off the top. Oh, wow. That was not the DI. <laughs> How? But yeah, um, like, it's not even just the upstrong kills for Zedder, it's the up airs. Because up air also, yeah. like, even if you're not just throwing, like, getting up air to up air or something, like, Zedder Burn has a lot of uh, combos into up air at yeah. higher percents, and those become really Which... consistent on this stage. Yeah, makes uh, sense why, why Flex would pick it. Mm hmm. We've been seeing a lot of starters tonight, which um, isn't that uncommon, but I feel like generally, especially among like higher level players, you'd see a little more uh, hard counter picks. Mm -hmm. Oh, Flex actually manages to uh, get some damage in with Palm um, in the, the har harmonic field there. But this is looking pretty rough. Like, yeah, that was a really, uh, yeah, that's really good pair. Just One's just kind of gaining move. steam as time goes on, and uh, Flex is just finding less and less off of each opening. Yeah. <laughs> just struggling to kill Palm here. Yeah, I mean, at this percent, it's, it's, I mean, Zedder doesn't have many confirms at this percent. He just needs, like, a sweet spot fair or something to kill. Or, or up fair, air. Like... Oh my goodness. Hitting either One is not bad. letting up here. Yeah, Jesus, this fucking, this, this is, like, Zedder is not Zedder let, letting on Flex back on stage at all. And dead? Oh no. Where are you going? Okay. And well. there's the Forge Frog. Restock. Palm living to 182 versus Zed. Or how often are you going to see that happen? Occasionally. Yeah, occasionally. You're Uncommonly. right. <laughs> Uncommonly. Uncommonly. And I guess Flex and was like, rock wall. So, Flex was like so annoyed about like, what the fuck? Why is Palm living for this so long? Just going to go to rock wall. Mm hmm. I think He's probably I also getting annoyed at being edge guarded for like a minute straight, so it was like, just kill me if I'm off stage. <laughs> yeah, I think I mentioned this before, but every time I pick every time I pick Rockwell on bracket, I just say fucking be ball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously this is a really good Zetter stage. Um, he, he can just carry you off the sides and the top. Yeah. Zetter up here. Uh, and but it's gonna die at seventy percent. That's already one stock on. Things are really looking rough for Flex, like he's got to pull out some new tricks or something. Yeah. Or, you know, stick to the old ones if they work, but... So far it's like... But it's just getting hit by less and less of these setups. Yeah. It gets tiring, honestly, when your opponent is just, like, just out of reach. Mm-hmm. Flex really kind yeah, of bombs, definitely. like, the two best stages. Yeah. Okay. Well, already doing better than last game. Is Rockwell one of Pops best stages? Uh, um, I don't know. I have no clue. I wouldn't. I mean, I think this stage works well for Palm. I don't. Yeah, I think it works decently for Palm. I think camping, camping top plot might be annoying for Palm on the stage, but like, it doesn't really matter that much. Hey, I mean, um, Lex is taking the lead here for the first time since game one, I think. See if uh, he can hold on to it. Oh wow! I can't believe he missed that sweet spot there. Just barely missing this kill over and over. Why is Pob alive? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Just, just can't find this kill. Rash. I can't believe I'm just for playing so evasive. Yeah, you can that, tell that's Flex the thing. Is like, being impatient at this Pob point. Pob has notes. Pob has float. She's like, oh, he burned his. He burned his air out. Who can just go uh, wherever she wants half the time? I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. I don't get me wrong, I no think way is cool, but like, sometimes. No way. This what is insane. 
You know Flex ah! is pissed at this point, because I would be. Oh, no. I, I honestly was just expecting Flex to just raw down be in the fucking office stage at that point, like. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, my God. 183 is Pop on Rock Wall. That looked frustrating to deal with, honestly. But hey, that's what you, you know wanted. You want to be Pop? frustrating as a rival.